Tapas originated as snacks or appetizers served at village inns in Spain, and they've since evolved into a trendy style of casual dining. Cape Town-based chef Seelan Sundu has come up with the idea of reinventing the tapas theme with a South Indian twist, and Karishma became his sorcerer's apprentice for a day. When chef and restaurateur Seelan Sundu visits the harbour early on a winter's morning, it isn't to admire the scenery or the seals. He's there to inspect the catch that's just arrived and to make a selection for the specials of the day. It's a little bit of white thumpers and uh, maybe about half a dozen of prawns. Awesome, Seelan. Thanks, sir. Cool. Seelan Sandu has made quite a name for himself on the South African gastronomic scene. Equal amounts of talent and experience have allowed him to establish himself as one of the leading chefs in this country. Whether you have a palate for classical French cuisine or exotic spices tantalize your taste buds, Seelan does it all. I'm going to spend the day with him today as his apprentice to find out how all the ingredients come together in his life as well as on the plate. Shiny scales and gleaming eyes greeted Karishma when she joined the chef. Hi Seelan. How are you? Good, thanks. Lovely to meet you. So we're sourcing some delicious fish today. A friend of mine called me this morning and said, please come around. we got some beautiful fish that came this morning. Seelan, what do you look for when trying to find fresh fish? Firstly, it's a sustainable fishing, so we're looking at more of the line caught stuff. I usually go for fresh tuna or for fresh red ramen or silverfish. Basically, we look for you know the eye, which is always glossy and always a bit wet and it's not dull. And also the smell, you know, when you smell a fish, it smells like the ocean and not fishy. Wow, that really doesn't smell fishy at all. Yeah. What are we sourcing for today? I really want to make this dish for you that my mom used to make for me. That sounds absolutely divine. I cannot wait. Should we go? We've got our fresh ingredients. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get cooking. Seelan traces his roots to the state of Kerala on the southwest coast of India. And this heritage has inspired the decor and menu of his latest brainchild located in Seapoint. So, welcome to Sandus. Seelan, this is so beautiful. I love the idea of an Indian style tapas bar. But when you say tapas, most people think Spanish food. What was your thought process behind opening up an Indian style tapas bar? You know, when you think about families and gatherings and weddings, uh, you sort of think, you know, sharing. Everybody sits around the table and you start sharing big pots of food and, you know, it's, everything's on a bigger scale. But I decided to downscale it to make it smaller, so to give it for more intimate sort of feeling for between small groups of people. Now, I always have food on my mind, so I'm dying to know what's on the menu. The most prominent one on, on our menu is the bunny chows, which are very, very popular. Do you use a traditional Durban curry for this? Yes, we do. All the spices and herbs are all hand ground and they made from scratch. We also got puri pata, which is done with the tamarind sauce, which is quite a popular vegetarian dish. I heard you learned to cook from your grandmother. Is that where it all started for you? Yeah, we started in Durban when I was about seven or eight years old and I went up to my grandfather's funeral. And that's when I first started getting into cooking because we usually made these big fires and I started cooking for everybody. And then from there, it came back to Cape Town and then my mom was um, also cooking every single day. Seelan, I cannot wait to get into the kitchen and start cooking and learn as much as I can from you while I have you here. So should we get going? Yeah, sure. Cool. Let's go for it. Okay, so here we've got our uh, fish that we picked up this morning. We're first going to stuff the fish with some coriander and cut leaves that have been chopped up. So we sort of fold that up and we'll take a little bit of fish, a little bit of salt, ginger and garlic, and then we're gonna take a little bit of oil, marinate just to give it a bit of uh, coating. That we're gonna throw in a little bit of chili. How much chili? How hot uh, is that chili? It's not that hot. It's uh, winter chilies are not really that hot. We've got a masala that we specially mixed ourselves. Then we put some turmeric and we're gonna put some char jeera as well. Please cut the lemon for me. There we go. Beautiful. These lemons are amazing. They're so juicy. Well, you want to know where they come from? Of course I do. I'd love well, that. Farmer Ash is on his way. So he will be here in a second. So let's go meet him. Let's do it. Ash, this is Charisma. Hi. 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 Hey, nice to urban, meet you. urban farmer. We got some beetroot, which we make. Uh, with beetroot curry, pineapple curry as well. We use coconut milk and a lot of different dried chili, which we have over here that Ash makes for us. 
Chris Mel, I think, grab the chilies and I'll grab the persimmons and let's go. Sure. Cool. Stephen, this smells amazing. These flavors are working so well together. It's going to be a winner. Chef, thank you so much. I've learned a lot from you today and now I can't wait to dig in, so I'm going to go take a seat. Pleasure, Karishma. While Seelan put the finishing touches to the white stump nose and prepared the plating, Karishma took a seat to enjoy the Dravidian tapas. Thank you. I will definitely. How good does that look? There you go, Karishma. That looks... Absolutely divine. What are these other two dishes here? That's your prawn bunny char that we've uh, worked up with the prawns we bought this morning. Divine. And this is the squid and obviously the lionfish that we bought. I think I've been waiting for this all day. Okay, please tuck in. Yeah? This dish is cooked proper way, like you, you'll find it in Durban. Now that tastes like home. The best taste ever. Chef, would you say this is your comfort food? It is definitely comfort food. What style do you enjoy cooking more? The classical French and Mediterranean cuisine or your spicy Indian food? I think I'm more close to the spicy Indian food. I love just the flavours and you can play around much more with it. This was absolutely divine. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend the day with you. Please continue eating. Oh, I definitely will. <laughs>